Okay, I'm going to show you how to calculate theoretical yield and calculating limiting reactants and percent yield in a chemical reaction equation. So to calculate, the first step before you do theoretical yield and percent yield is you want to find out the limiting reactant. So to do the limiting reactant, you have to do two stoichiometry conversions. Here we're going to specifically do two gram to gram stoichiometry conversions. So our first one, uh, so your A is going to be, uh, so we're dealing with bromobenzene, and then we have two different substances that it's going to react with. So we have 31.1 grams of benzene and 52.3 grams of bromine. So both of these are going to be our A element or our first element that we're going to start with with doing the conversion and bromobenzene is always going to be our B element in both of these conversions. So to start with our first one, we're going to draw a chart like this with four columns. I always draw an X right here because we're not going to put any values in this box. To start off with, you're going to identify your given. With this problem, you're going to want to either start with benzene or bromine. It doesn't really matter. We're going to start with benzene. So our given for benzene is 31.1 grams. 31.1 grams of benzene, which is C6H6. Okay, and then I call this the diagonal row. So all of the diagonal boxes from left to right have to be the same counting unit and element. So our counting unit here is grams and our element is benzene. So in this box here, we're going to want grams of benzene, C6H6. This is going to be your molar mass of benzene that you're going to get from the periodic table. So we have six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. The mass of carbon is 12.01. So you're going to calculate 12.01 .01 times six plus 1.01 times 6 because the mass of hydrogen is 1.01. Your answer for that is 78.12 grams of C6H6. On the top box here, you're going to put one mole of C6H6 because one mole of benzene weighs 78.12 grams. Now, this next column here is where the mole ratio goes. Uh, element A always goes on the bottom box and element B always goes on the top. So in that also you can check out with the diagonal rule. So we're counting by moles in this box and benzene. So we're going to need moles of benzene here. So this is going to be looking at the equation and looking at the coefficients to figure out how many moles there are. There are no coefficients at all in this equation. So this is also just going to be one mole of benzene. On the top here is going to be the number of moles in the equation uh, of your B, and in this case, this is bromobenzene. There's also one mole of bromobenzene in this equation. Now, the next column, you need the molar mass of bromobenzene. So, on the bottom here, you're going to put one mole of bromobenzene. Because of our diagonal rule, we need the same counting unit and substance in the diagonal boxes. So the top here is where you're going to put your molar mass of benzene or bromobenzene. So we have six carbon atoms, so 12.01 times six plus five hydrogen atoms, so 1.01 times five plus bromine. We have one bromine atom and bromine is 79.9 and your answer for that is 
grams of bromo benzene. Now we have it set up. So now we multiply everything on the top and divide by the bottom. You do not need to include any of the values that are just one because they're not going to affect the answer. And you can also just type this in as one long string of numbers on the calculator. So you would type in 31.1 times 157.01 divided by 78.12. And your answer is going to be 65 or 62.51 grams of bromo benzene. Now, in order to do another, uh, in order to calculate the limiting reactant, we have to do another gram to gram stoichiometry conversion, this time with the other element given to us, which is bromine. We have 52.3 grams of bromine. And we're still going to use bromobenzene as our B element. So we're going to draw another table just like the one before and cross out that box. And we're going to put here our given. So our given, our new A, is 30 or 52.3 grams of Br. And then here, diagonal rule. So in this box here is going to be your molar mass of bromine. We only have one bromine atom, so it's 79.90 grams of bromine. And then on the top here, it's going to be one mole of bromine because that's how much one mole of bromine weighs. Now, mole ratio. We have moles of bromine here, so we need moles of bromine in this box. So, how many moles of bromine do we have in the reaction? Well, we don't have any coefficients, so we only have one mole of bromine. And now the rest of the boxes are going to be the same as our first conversion because we're dealing with bromobenzene. So again, so one mole of bromobenzene and then one mole of bromobenzene. And then the top here is going to be 157. 0.01 grams of bromo benzene. And then the same as the last problem, we multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. So you're going to do 52.3 times 157.01 divided by 79.90, and you're going to get 1.5 seven seven grams of bromo benzene. The limiting reactant is the smaller answer of the two. So your limiting reactant is going to be your A element from the conversion that gave you the smaller answer. So our limiting reactant is benzene, which is 62 point that which gave us 62.51 grams of bromo benzene. So the limiting reactant is benzene. The theoretical yield is also your bromine or uh, your limiting reactant. So our theoretical yield is 62.51 grams of bromobenzene. That is our theoretical yield. The percent yield is 0.5. your actual yield divided by theoretical yield. Your theoretical yield is what was calculated through a stoichiometry conversion. So our theoretical yield is 62.51 grams of bromobenzene. Our actual yield, your actual yield 
is, uh, is the number you would get if you were actually doing this reaction in lab. So our theoretical, our percent yield would be calculated by doing 22.4 divided by 62.51 and then times it by 100 just so that the decimal place is easier to read as a percent. So 22.4 divided by 62.51 times 100, and you're going to get 35.83%. That is your percent yield.